have we been? Uh, well, there's a gigantic snowstorm in Minnesota yesterday, and because of climate change, it was all just slush anyway. Wait, this isn't in the same spot as it was before. On the Genesis uh, version. <clears throat> oh my god, those Apparently guys Duluth. are almost as fat as Mikey is. Apparently Duluth, Minnesota is the safest place in the world from climate change. Duluth, Minnesota? Yeah, so like a lot of rich people are moving there for the to try to get ready for the end of the world. <laughs> you mean when Trump gets reelected? No, no, no. Oh. The, the years after <laughs> all this stuff that they, uh, all the elector, uh, elected officials have been doing. What? Uh, the climate by the, change. By the way, if it's an isometric level, why could they at least have extended the graphics at the corners of the screen where it's just black? Um, that is how it looks on the SNES, because the SNES is the lowest res version besides the GBA. But but why would they do that? Like that? Ugh. I don't know. It's so bizarre. It looks. It's not like it, you can go there. I know, but it just okay. What was it? What was my uh, Alanzo saying about politics and climate change? No, Duluth just being apparently scientists just recently. Uh, they really like that area. Did what it? makes that? better than anywhere else. It's just where it's located in comparison there's to there's iron ore? Uh, because it's fucking cold. Yeah, it's cold, yeah, and it's just just... To general, I had to look back into it. It was something on the um, what's, his, what's his face? Um, the Daily Show. Which came back recently. John Stewart? Yeah, John Stewart. No, Daily Stewart Show's been back. around for a while. It's just John Stewart's back. Yeah. yeah, I know. That's what I meant. T find the find the clip right now, Alonzo, and show it to me. Wait, right, these enemies are really now. annoying because when you kill them, boogers come out. Then you have because to because sure if anybody, sorry, uh, if you don't kill all the boogers, they will chase you forever. This effect is not in the Windows version; it's just flat green. All right, now we got to be careful here. Because uh, Major Mucus has thrown, like, shockwaves at us. If they hit you, they do mega damage. But they mega also damage. push the balloon! So you gotta be really careful to get it through here. Is that a pre-render to throw gym? Or is that a spike? Yes. Alright, found it. What is it? The, the, the video. Yeah, but what is it? What does it say? What is oh, this, Alonzo? The... What does it do? You'll have to watch it when you have time. I'll watch you when I have time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. put it put it in the room. I'll watch it later. You'll you'll watch you Alonzo masturbate when you come home from the gym too early. Yeah, yeah, that would suck. <laughs> yeah. Be nice. Good thing that's never happened. Be nice to Alonzo. Good thing it's never <laughs> happened. Be nice to Alonzo. Happens, He's the first of its kind. To the best of us. Don't bully me. I'll um. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll cry. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I could never let anybody know that I'm no, a man. No, the funny thing cries. is that Alonzo had like a curtain made of his clothes that he had hung up on his bed because it was like one of those dorm beds, you know? Yeah, the the lofts. Yeah. The lofts where you where you'd get like the drunk people to come over and assemble it for you because they're really heavy. Yeah. And Alonzo had, like, a bunch of clothes up there so, to, like, I don't know, for privacy reasons. What? Oh, good. I thought it Heck missed. yeah, it's like having my own pissed. room in my own in a, in a room I'm sharing. Which means that I couldn't see what you were doing. So if you had just said nothing, <laughs> then that whole Dude, embarrassing... Dude, I was already having a panic attack. I didn't care. <laughs> well, remember, you had to be like, just, just get out of here. Just get, just get out of here. Get the fuck out, out of here, just get, out of here Michael. just get out of here. Just get out of here. Just get out of here. <laughs> then I had to go to the bathroom for a bit, and, like, it was weird, man. Uh -oh. <laughs> There's this, um, back in Cinemasker made some good stuff. There was this one time they did, like, their, their, 
was that the monkey cheese with the concert filled? No, it's bathroom filled with piss. It was the one. It was the one where they played uh, the Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine for the Nintendo Mm -hmm. 64. But like, they get poisoned by a snake right away, and they can't. None of them ever figure the. Oh, maybe if I press the pause button, I can locate my antidote. But they all think that the game is just broken because you're poisoned. (laughs) <laughs> like, oh my god. But there's this one part where they restart the game because every time they die, they would come back and they'd still be poisoned. They're like, what the fuck? If you get poisoned once, you're just forced to... Ah! Come on, no! I missed the hook and I was forced to... Ah! We could but possibly they, yeah, they press the, the pause answer. button to see if there's a menu like an Ocarina of Time, one of the most famous and beloved games of all time, which James has played. I know. I, actually, I don't even know if James is on that episode. Oh, but the there's this one guys? part where they re- they restart the game, and they get back to the section where they get poisoned by the snake, and they're like, as soon as it pops up on the edge of the screen and starts coming towards them. Everybody is all like, oh, <laughs> shit, oh, no, <laughs> just, just get out of there, just get out of there, just get out of there. <laughs> Wanzo's having Sam's happy time. <laughs> That's a deep cut, that reference. What is that? It's from Transformers. Did I introduce you to the name deep cut, or do you always say that? No, I'm familiar with that expression. That's an internet term. So I have this thing at work that every time, if I say something really stupid at work, I tend to say it a lot, and then people around me start picking up on it. So, mm. like for example, my boss calls people fart sniffers all the time now, <laughs> 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 and she's younger than me, and she's she describes things as ah man these fart sniffers. <laughs> Because of me. Man, this package looks like a sloppy Joe. You're a bad influence. (laughs) (laughs) I just rub off on people a specific way. I'm a very unique person. So if anybody lives in Minnesota, come over and say hi. Just kidding. (laughs) You shouldn't be rubbing one off on people. (laughs) Ethan doesn't want anything to do with you. (laughs) Ethan has recently moved into a home with his wife and his aunt planning to have 16 chumps. Speaking of chumps, Fuck you. have you noticed that chumps never stop moving? Like, really young chumps? What? Yeah, like, little kids, they oh, never yeah. stop fucking moving, ever. Like, they yeah, cannot, they're, they're, like, physically incapable of standing still. Like, I <laughs> have an kids? excuse. Yeah. I had ADHD, and Ethan, you have ASD. So, yeah. like, it makes sense, but, like... What- but I was also, they thought I had ADD growing up also. Because in all of my home videos, I am like hyper as shit and just bouncing yeah. off the walls. Oh, fuck. Fa- I was I was chatting with my sister last week. Um and she's like, you notice that in all those home movies, you're like bouncing off the walls and all of us just like don't react at all. Because Man, we're I do so have to used say- to the way They're like, Ethan, that was just the way you were. <laughs> your your sister looks nothing like she does now. No, she's... Well, she's a hippie. That's what age does, Mikey. Way cool. Well, like, I... My sister went through a bunch of phases, but she is a my, a gigantic hippie. <laughs> you could say she's hit with the times. <laughs> oh, boy. There's, like, 16 puppies flying through the air right now. You guys been playing anything new as of late? Uh, I'm playing the remake of... Well, I'm playing the remastered Bioshock game. I Which Alonzo present. was made by Blind Squirrel Games, the people behind fucking uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate. Ooh. Sonic One of the Colors most infamous Ultimate. ports of all time. You mean the greatest port of all time. Which really disappointed me, because that's one of my favorite Sonic games, and I wanted an HD version for years. Because the... What's so bad about it? Isn't it like just bare minimum? Like it's not even. It's like a. It's uh, glitchy and unfinished. Like there's a glitch in it, where like I don't. I think they eventually patched it out. But there was a glitch for a while where like if you did a certain type of thing, I can't. I think it was you paused while in a certain part of the game or something, 
like, rainbow patterns would appear on the screen and it would glitch the fuck out and, like, give people seizures. Ew. Come on. I swear to God, why is it being so temperamental? The other versions aren't like this. Oh, I, there was this one tweet I remember. And they was talking about Sonic in the Black Knight. Like, why does everybody just show uh, pictures and just, like, cutscenes of Sonic Black Knight, but never any gameplay? Was this game actually ever any good? The answer to that question is a big fat no. No. It's one of the... Well, it's not that bad, but it's not good. It's just not... Yeah, it's just not that fun. <laughs> control mini game. game. Well, I guess I'm not getting that life. Thanks, game. Actually, let's forget about that. I guess I'm not, I love when Michael's sassy to the game. <laughs> Michael can't get a life. Thanks, game. <laughs> By the way, the background in this version looks like shit. There's a giant statue. Supposedly the plot of this level, and I have no idea how anybody figured this out, is that this is like a planet where cows live, and the cows were like, Earthworm Jim, we're being attacked by evil muffins, please come here and save us. And he's like, well, I know I'm supposed to be rescuing Princess What's-Her-Name from Psycho right now, but I guess I'll go do that. I, lo <laughs> I love that the next next guy you stop at, uh, stop and let it look. <laughs> I forgot that they have sh shifty eyes. <laughs> so like, I like how that cow doesn't have a backside there either. <laughs> Did you see that when he was mm -hmm. looking out of the window? No, Ethan, but I'll believe you. <laughs> no, it like he's not, it, never watch mind. out for your backside. Um, <laughs> you guys don't get that. Why did you choose this like, playthrough no. over any other ones then? If you have so much negative to say about this. Well, obviously, I didn't know any of that when I first said that we should play this version. I just thought, well, it's it's the Saturn version. It's got the CD soundtrack. It's got to be the best one, right? I mean, we could have played a different version if you wanted to. No, we're, but he wanted to play to this. The... It, nobody, not there's not that many playthroughs of. Those, unlike uh, unlike Super Mario, nobody has ever played this version. Yeah, nobody's ever played okay. Earthworm Jim two. I guess I guess that's a good idea then. Yeah. Hey, look at him. Look at his eyes. Everybody's played Earthworm Jim yeah. two. Bugaloo. But everybody's played Super Mario. Have you played this, Alonzo? Yeah. Be honest. I have played this. I literally <laughs> just emulated it. Played it for a little bit. Oh okay. god, that counts. I just... <laughs> when I had my. How far did you play? The Genesis. Yet you've never played Super Mario. No, I played Super Mario. Yeah, no, but not like beaten it. I just only like played a couple of levels, and then I just realized you know, Super Mario just wasn't for me. What What is going on? I don't know. Last time, last time you said you'd never played Super Mario. That was the whole big thing, is that you had the catchphrase about how everybody's played Super Mario, but you hadn't. Is that uh, Have you played this game before? Oh, this? No. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> everybody's played Super everybody's Mario, everybody's played except Super Mario, Alonso. Ex <laughs> except for the person that made the famous quote. But everybody's played Super Mario. Oh yeah, this channel is famous for. No, the oh, quote. Oh yeah, but, I did yeah, the say quote, that, didn't I? But the quote in the bit is about let's plays. Everybody's let's played Super Mario was the 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 source of that joke. Ethan. Except for you. Yeah, no, I had never beat Alonzo. I never beaten it. Yeah. I played it. You s no, you're lying you're right now. You said liar. you never played it. They did damage right there. You're a liar. No, I did, but you like, I, like every time you guys interrupted me when I was trying to go, like go we further. We did not interrupt you. Exactly. Barry. I'm like, whatever. We'll just go with this joke. Everybody's played Super Everybody's Mario. Everybody's played except Super Alonzo. Mario, ex <laughs> except for the person that made the famous quote. Alonso can actually go with a joke, unlike us. <laughs> if only you let me continue, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I played. Okay, Super so you played Super Mario. Yes. 
But okay. now we got now the so, joke is that? I haven't played it, so now I gotta go run with it. <laughs> Everybody has played Super Mario. Except me. Oh my god. Those maniacs, they blew it up. Darn oh shit, you. the chicken. Darn you all to heck. <laughs> the chicken. Oh Aren't... shit, the chicken. No. Shut up. Oh shit, the chicken. How? Oh shit, the chicken. Aren't just penguins sea chickens? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> They're ice the chickens. Say there, coach. Would you like to try some of our free iced cream? But penguins are chickens of the sea. They don't fly, but you know. You guys ever Do seen? Do people eat penguins? You guys remember it most? Uh, maybe. You guys remember that video that showed us of his, uh, you know what? Penis? No. It was it was like Jessica Simpson or something washing dishes, and um. Apparently, there's a clip of her, like, she was eating, like, Chicken of the Sea, that tuna brand. She's just like, is this actually made of chicken? I, I, I know it's supposed to be tuna, but it says Chicken of the Sea. Has anybody watched Poor Things yet? <laughs> the fuck is Poor Things? What's Poor Things? It's the, it's the new movie of Emma Stone. Isn't it that she weird... Gets Weird she movie? gets naked 8,000 times in that movie, and I cannot believe that she did that. <laughs> well, Poor thing. She got Doesn't an Oscar Mark nomination Ruffalo for it, didn't she? I don't know. What did you say, uh, Micus? She got an Oscar nomination for it, didn't she? Yeah, it was a really good movie, but oh my god, I did not expect to see Emma Stone naked 15 times. Okay, so that's the movie. Yeah, Mark Ruffalo's in it. Is he the weird-looking dude from Spider-Man 2? He's no. the Hulk! From the Avengers. Oh, wait, fuck, that's right. You don't watch movies. I haven't watched any of those. <laughs> yeah, but Mark Ruffalo, he's been in a bunch of movies. He's in 13 Going On 30. Remember when Edward Norton was the Hulk? And then he no, decided he didn't want to do the not movies anymore? for a while, anymore? Mikey. Edward Norton. Emma Stone was really good in that movie. That's a pretty good movie. That's what I've been doing. Oh, look at the cow in the background. Look at those yeah, I've been hearing a lot of people CGI. saying that the movie's pretty good, but it's just really weird and it's like niche. It's one of those movies, it's good when you watch it, but it's like hard to get people to watch it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I like trippy movies like that. So it's like Magnolia. Everybody in the comments, all 109 of you, uh, tell me your favorite trippy movie because I want to watch it. Oh, wasn't there one, uh, oh god, there was a, a trip movie where it's like, <laughs> what uh, if What if somebody says their favorite movie is Boku no Pico, even? Please don't. I watched it. It's not very trippy. It's, it's very bad. For the soul. correct answer is you're gonna report them to the police. Uh, I would... <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, what's that one movie where it's, it's Jennifer Lawrence and it's basically like a metaphor for, like, the planet Earth or something like that, and they're like oh, in a cabin. Oh, Mother? Mother, yeah. Have you seen that one, Ethan? <laughs> no. That's a trippy one. No, the best trippy movie. It, it's hilarious watching interviews because the director is like, it, it's one of those things where like you make the movie and it's like the metaphor is really obvious and pointed. But then like he, he went around doing interviews and it's just like, oh yeah, I, I totally made this movie about like uh, the Mother Earth and it's like all of the subplots are from the Bible. <laughs> and it's just like it's one of those things where you're better off just saying nothing and letting letting people figure it out. That's kind of the fun of a movie like that. But then he just explained exactly what he was doing in interviews in excruciating detail. Anyways, it's like Tommy Wiseau telling everybody that they had to watch the room twice to make sure they didn't miss anything. It's like I recommend everybody watch this movie at least twice, at least two times. To make sure you get everything. I think Tyler um, went to a screening of that once. Did Tommy Wiseau so do a, a movie it, recently? He definitely did. He was in The Disaster Artist. No, yeah, it was like a high movie like or something like that. seven years ago. That was before James Franco got cancelled for also being a creep. <laughs> what a world we live in. What I mean, world. he deserves it if he's going to be a creep. No, what I mean is, what a world we live in where creeps can become pow powerful movie stars. Oh, yeah. 
Well, at least they're being canceled now instead of just like getting yeah. away with it for decades. Yeah, I'm sure there's trillions that already still do, but at least some of them are being ousted. There, there are only 8 billion people on the planet, my friend. There can't be trillions of them. <laughs> you don't, you're not talking about the lizard people that live under the crust. Exactly, Mikey. <laughs> you're way behind the times. Uh, they, kid, they kidnap chumps in the in the uh, uh, in the darkness of the night and take them and to the their gay underground frogs. layers. Yeah. They turn in the frickin' I frogs. Can't remember. I, was, I was gonna say something earlier and I completely forgot what it was. That sucks, huh? Is that... It's actually a good discussion, <laughs> though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> was like Michael taking a drink of water just then? <laughs> I was drinking my coffee when Alonzo said that, and I was just like... <laughs> 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 a mid-sip. 